session 10 mysql table maintenance let me tell you i've been we are a website design and development company web hosting company in india and we have around 300 websites we are hosting them we have a team of around 10 developers also online i mean full time and uh, freelancers associated with our company now why I mentioned that uh, our background because uh, we face this problem that multiple websites when sessions multiple sessions are going on and then there are some session tables and the table is not closed uh, properly connection is not closed properly abrupt shutdown or something happened and the table is corrupt next time we open the website we get database error though MySQL is running now the database error we always face this problem every uh, you know month or two, uh, you know uh, every alternate month that uh, this particular website is not uh, running and getting the issue that database uh, connection error and when we go and check the database we simply find that uh, some of the tables are corrupt we actually do nothing except that we use a repair table we get into this session and this session helped me a lot because whether it is InnoDB table, whether it is MyIGM table. For InnoDB table, mechanism is different. So for Yes, yes, yes. So how do you know which is that is what. So this session will tell you how do you know, how do we check which tables are corrupt and then how do we troubleshoot. This session is all about this understanding, identifying and finding ways to repair those tables. So agenda of the table uh, session is table maintenance operations. This is actually useful session. I've been using this session most frequently to be honest in my production level scenario, my own use case. Check table will give you the answer that you, this is the answer of your question. Repair table, analyze table, optimize table. These are the four operations we perform. All have their own advantage. Then we have client and utility programs like My, MySQL check client program and MyIGM check utility both are uh, you know shell level commands uh, shell, you know shell prompt commands repairing you know db tables and my IGM auto repair how can we ensure that my IGM take care of the repair automatically can we do that yes table maintenance operation a table check perform an integrity check to make sure the table structure and content have no problems this is applicable for MyIGM and InnoDB both. Table repair. Correct the integrity problems to restore the table to a known usable state or applicable only for MyIGM, not for InnoDB. Table analyze or analysis. Update statistics about the distribution of index key values applicable for both will increase the speed, increase the performance, improve the performance of the table access and table optimization reorganize the table so that its content can be accessed more efficiently applicable for myism and InnoDB. when sql analyze a table myism or InnoDB, any it updates the index statistics the optimizer uses these statistics when processing queries to make better decisions about how best to look up records in the table and the order in which the table read tables in a join. When MySQL optimizes a MyIGM table, it defragments the data files to reclaim unused space, sorts, and index, uh, sorts the indexes and updates the index statistics. What are the SQL statements for table maintenance? MySQL has several SQL statements for table maintenance. Check table is a table for integrity checking. Repair table for repairs. Analyze table for analysis. And optimize table for optimization. Each statement takes one or more table names and possibly optional keywords that modify the basic action to be performed. Like uh, simple at MySQL prompt you simply type check table city or check table world.city check table 
statement performs integrity check on the table state structure and contents. It works for MyIGEM and uh, InnoDB tables both. There are utilities where you can decide whether you want to update it on a selected database, all the tables of a selected database, all databases, all tables, or selected table of a selected database. For MyIGEM table, it also updates the index statistics. If the table is a view, then check table will verify the definition of the view. If the output from check table indicate the table has problem, then table should be repaired. That is next step, a repair table. The repair table statements correct problems in table that has become corrupted. It works only for MyIGEM tables. You can tell the server to repair MyIGEM table automatically also. That we will look at the last slide. Analyze table. Analyze table statement update a table with information about the distribution of key values in the table. This information is used by the optimizer to make better choices about query execution plans. This statement works for both. An optimized table. This statement clean up my item tables by defragmenting it. This involves reclaiming unused space resulting from deletes and updates, coalescing split records and stored non-contiguously. It sorts the index page and if they are out of order and update the index statistics. It also works for InnoDB, but it maps to alter table in InnoDB to rebuild the table. And this partially answers the question. Actual answer you'll get. Rebuild the table is the only solution for InnoDB. This update index statistics and free the space on the clustered index. Client utility programs. The MyIGEM check utility for MyIGEM table perform table maintenance. In fact, they can do more than the statement we just discussed. In fact, they have more options. So it takes different approach from MySQL check. So there are two utility program. One is MySQL check and second is MyIGEM check. MyIGEM check directly read and modify the table files, meaning you have to go into the directory. You have to work at the command prompt. It directly update the files, physical files on the system. When using MyIGEM check, ensure the server does not access the table at the same time. Therefore, you must unlock the table before you proceed. If you are in a database directory, you can check all the MyIGEM tables like this. MyIGEM check star.myi. If you are not into database directory, you can check all tables there by myigem check and the path to your database directory star.myi. MySQL check client program. MySQL check repair, analyze and optimize tables. Check, repair, analyze and optimize. It can perform all these operations on myigem tables and can perform some of them on InnoDB. You got that. Except this, it can perform all of them on InnoDB as well. It provides a command line interface to the various SQL statement that instruct the server to perform table maintenance, such as check table and repair table. MySQL check has properties that in some context make it more convenient convenient than issuing the SQL statement directly. That's what I was talking about, that this is a better approach of using the, these uh, command line utilities. Let's understand. By default, MySQL check interprets its first non-option argument as database name and check all the tables of that database. And this is probably what we need sometimes. If any other argument follows the database name, MySQL check treat them as table names and check just those tables. So MySQL check username root hyphen p password and you are giving the database name. So it will treat this first argument as database. So it will check all the tables of the database. In this case, it is taking first as database and second and third argument are tables. But if you want to specify multiple database names, then you have to use hyphen hyphen databases parameter or uppercase hyphen b. MySQL check will interpret all its non-option argument as database names 
and check all the tables in each of the named database for example hyphen hyphen databases world and test but if you want to check all the databases all the tables you can use hyphen hyphen all hyphen databases or hyphen a so username password all databases this will check all the databases all the tables MySQL check. MySQL check can also support options that indicate which operation to perform. Like you can specify hyphen hyphen check or hyphen hyphen repair or hyphen hyphen analyze or hyphen hyphen optimize. The recommended strategy is to run MySQL check with no arguments or no options. If any error occurs then you run it with repair or hyphen hyphen quick option additional repair plus hyphen hyphen quick to attempt a quick repair if quick repair fails then run mysql check with repair with a normal repair and if that fails then use hyphen hyphen repair and hyphen hyphen force so there are three levels of repair attempts first repair and quick second only repair and third repair force in this case you may lose some data be careful what is the difference between these MyIgem and MySQL? Both. There might be some confusion. Let's understand. Both program can check, repair and analyze MyIgem tables. Only MyIgem check has the feature of disabling and enabling indexes. MyIgem check is not a client program. It's a utility that operate directly on the files that represent MyIgem tables. You need file system read privileges on those files for table check operation and write privileges for table repair operations and you can issue it from the same machine only therefore not a very good uh, for practice because you have to be on the same machine which is very very difficult in production level systems mysql check there is no problem for interaction with the server because mysql check asks the server itself to do the work for you and therefore this is better approach with my item check you need to make sure the server does not have tables open because you are going from the command line so table must be locked therefore again a drawback the most certain way to avoid conflict while running my item check is to stop the server first and lock the tables while checking and repairing them with my item check my my item check and my sql check let's understand sequence of steps ensure that server will not access the tables while you are working on them stop it if required from the command prompt change to the location to the database directory where your tables are located invoke my item check with options indicating the operation you want to perform followed by the argument that name the tables on which my item should operate restart the server and default operation is to check the tables you can also use hyphen hyphen recover option to recover my item check hyphen hyphen recover and table name if repair operation performed with recover encounter problem then it cannot be fixed you can use hyphen hyphen safe hyphen recover option let's understand the difference with different options hyphen hyphen analyze or hyphen a analyze the distribution of key values in the table auto repair my mysql check only repair tables automatically hyphen hyphen check or hyphen c check tables for problem this is the default option check only changed or hyphen uppercase c skip table checking except for tables that have been changed since they were last checked or tables that have not been properly closed hyphen hyphen fast or hyphen f skip table checking except for the table that have not been properly closed hyphen hyphen extended for my sql check extended check for my item check hyphen e for both this option same and it will run extended table check hyphen hyphen medium check or hyphen m hyphen hyphen quick or hyphen q this m will run a medium table check and q will run a quick check or hyphen hyphen quick without a repair option repair recover or hyphen r repair is for my sql check recovery is for my item check and hyphen r is for both so better you use hyphen r you can see that it's better you have common option for all of them run a table repair operation 
if an InnoDB table has problems, you cannot fix it by repair table because that statement applies only to my item table. If a table check indicate that InnoDB table has problems, you should be able to restore the table to a consistent state by dumping it with MySQL dump, dropping it and then recreating it from the dump file. So this is how you should do dump table uh, MySQL dump username password database name table name and create the dump file and drop the table exit and import the table again that's the solution for InnoDB from the official documentation in a rare case the server might not start I also face this problem that is important question actually that's important situation I have been facing server might not start due to the failure of InnoDB auto recovery yes it happens with me if that happens then use this following procedure Start the server with InnoDB force recovery option set to a value in the range of 1 to 6. These values indicate increasing level of caution in avoiding a crash and increasing level of tolerance for a possible inconsistency in recovered tables. A good value to start will be 4. When you start the server in this way, InnoDB treat table spaces as read only. Consequently, you should dump the InnoDB tables with MySQL dump and then drop them while option is in effect. Then restart the server with the InnoDB force recovery option. When the server comes up, recover the InnoDB table from the dump file. Then last option, MyISM auto repair. To enable automatic MyISM table in maintenance, start the server with hyphen hyphen MyISM recover option. The option value can consist a comma separated list of one or more of uh, default that is for default checking. Backup tell the server to make a backup of any table that it must change. Force causes a table recovery to be performed even if it would cause the loss of one or more than one row of the data. Quick perform a quick recovery. Tables that have no holes resulting from deletes or updates are skipped with this option. To tell the server to perform force recovery of my item table found to have problems but make a backup of any table it changes you can put these lines in the options table my item recovery options force backup that's all for this session I'm sure there was something interesting for you and you will use this in your situation in your daily life thank you very much